Hello. Um, today we're going to have a look at the um, Svesta Junkers GAU87B2 forward slash U4 Stuka with skis, a German DAV bomber, and uh, it's 170 second scale. I've been wanting to build a Stuka on skis for quite some time, but I haven't found a kitten. It's not that easy to come by any resin parts or anything, so I was really, really pleased when I saw that Swista has issued this kit. So um, let's have a look and see what's in the box. It's a, a side opener, unfortunately, but you can't have it all. Some instructions in <coughs> Russian and English and a few other languages. That's the side <coughs> box art again. And some of the other kits like the Focke Wolf and uh, Yak 3 and the Mesha Smith. So let's see how the kit is packed. All the sprues are packed in one single bag by the looks of it. It is a nice sturdy foil so um, there should be little chance of damage to the kit parts. So you have the kit comes on three sprues. You get what appears to be the standard sprues for the uh, ordinary Svesta kit on wheels. You get uh, it complete with wheels, so you can build the wheeled version as well with this kit. But the difference is that you do get this extra small sprue with the skis. And um, like I said, I've been wanting to build one of these for quite some time, so I'm really pleased I found this kit. Yeah. I don't know if it shows, but the panel lines are really, really fine. Personally, I prefer them when they are a little bit deeper. Not quite trenches, but a little bit deeper in case you want to weather it as a brush, paint, brush painter. I mean, these panel lines are probably perfectly fine for those of you who use an airbrush. Um, you get the pilot and gunner seat and and um, two lots of uh, instrument panels one detail that you can paint yourself or one without any waste detail any instruments that you can then stick a decal on normally I use the waste ones and I still stick a decal on it, it works for me I'm happy that we're doing that um, if you want to add a pilot and a gunner the figures are all there usual Svesta style with the um, seats molded onto the figures which is something I quite like personally it is a snap fit kit a quick build but it does have a lot of detail to it and it probably will require some glue to get that perfect fit the cockpit side doors has got some nice detail as well um, from both sides this is filmed upside down obviously um, what else? if you do choose to build just the seats they come with harnesses molded on which is nice saves you a lot of hassle with making your own or adding aftermarket stuff you get Nicely detailed fuel tanks and um, having a closer look at the skis, they are nicely, nicely detailed as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. The canopy is in one part, so it cannot be displayed open 
but maybe you can get some aftermarket stuff if you do want to display it with an open cockpit. Personally I'm quite pleased that it's in one piece because it's a lot easier, a lot less fiddly and should be fairly easy to paint even if you don't mask. I mean I personally hardly ever mask a canopy but good luck to those who want to mask this one because it's very fine detail to it, very fine um, lines and so on. Can't think of the word right now. But yes, good luck to those who want to mask this one. Sticker con canopies are quite intricate. The decal seat comes with one option, one aircraft. The uh, Balkan crosses are quite nicely done. Appears to be all in register. You even get swastikas, but they are cut up into four pieces each. So personally, I will probably use an aftermarket decal sheet for that. Uh, the instrument panel decal is there, and you get a little, a few stencils, not that many, just a few. So yes, it's um, it looks nicely printed. Hopefully, it will be okay. I haven't really had any trouble with Swister decals, so I hope this one should work fine without splitting or or anything like that. It looks quite thin. That should all be good, hopefully. The instructions are printed in black and white. And the, uh, you get it in Russian and English. And um, it's quite simple, quite straightforward, very clear instructions in my opinion. The build is in 13 steps and as you can see the instructions are very clear. There's no, um, not really anything that you can get wrong as long as you stick to the pictures. I mean here it gives you the options of um, seats or pilot and gunner, the question marks there which choice to do. Um, paint instructions, I'll come back to um, what paints I want you to use. Uh, it's there, it tells you the assembly, it tells you what colors to use. Fairly straightforward, being a snap together kit, not that many parts to it, but enough to make it nicely detailed. Again, the canopy with or without decor, paint it yourself. Uh, the fuselage goes on top of the ring. Snap. And you get a big bomb to go underneath. Snap. And the alternative is bombs or fuel tanks under the wings. <coughs> the skis are a separate assembly and goes on where the wheels would have been obviously fairly straightforward again. You get a nice detailed machine gun for the gunner. Snap. And the last piece, the 13th step. Just to put on the canopy and the radio mast. Snap! The back of the box shows the model unpainted so you can get a clear picture of what it looks like assembled, which I think is a very good idea. And um, I have to admit, it looks really nice. I'm quite excited about building this later this year at some point when I can fit it in. The paint instructions and decal instructions is on a separate sheet. I'm very surprised to see that I want you to paint this in a summer camouflage. I thought a winter camouflage version would be better, but I guess there's nothing stopping you from adding a white wash over it. That's probably what I'm going to do to make it look more wintery. Uh, quite a lot of stencils and decals underneath there. On the side and the top, and the paint instructions is for Swester's own brand of paint or the Tamiya acrylics. I mean, I will be using Humberwall, but that's my personal choice. So, yes, Swester's own brand or Tamiya acrylics. 
standard stick of camouflage and light blue underneath. Fairly straightforward again. So the uh, summary of this kit, I'd say it's a fairly straightforward kit, suitable for perhaps not a beginner but near enough beginner, intermediate and certainly a very skilled model that could make something really good out of this. Personally I'm gonna do my best. But that's a build to look forward to later on. Um, I hope you enjoy this version of inbox review. I don't normally do talkies but I thought it'd make a change. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, happy modeling. Mm -hmm.